And so we come to the last two episodes of Touchwood Miracle Day. Oh, it's over! Hooray! Oh, I wasn't in it. Yes, I know, Yanto. That was a big shame. So, let's look at the two episodes. Episode 9. Oh, we found out lots of exciting things. A bit more background. We learned it was all Jack's fault. Ooh, one way or another. Yes, um, actually it was quite an exciting episode, all things considered. And then we got to episode 10. Uh, where they had to do most of the plot from the previous nine episodes. Yes, it did seem that, you know, this whole series was very much top-loaded. If you spread all ten episodes out, like on a ruler, and put a pencil in the middle and balance it, it would fall over on the right, because basically episode seven to ten onwards is when all the plot happened. Now, I had a little bet, Yanto. Who did? What was that? My bet was uh, who would live and who would die. I bet that Esther would die because she was dull, a bit like Tosh. She was there to explain things, a bit like Tosh. And that she was destined to die, a bit like Tosh. That's right, that's the way she went. Um, I bet Rex would die, oh uh, he did, but then he came back. Oh that was quite unexpected, I quite liked that at the ending, was that good? I expected Jack to die, again. And I expected him to come back, I expected Gwen's father to die, and he did. And I didn't expect Andy Two Ds to make it to the end of the episode after one of his lines. Yes, but he did. I think he needs to be in the Torchwood team. Oh, honestly, you think they're getting another series after this? Uh, no, no, I don't. I think they've kind of muffed it big time, and that's it for Torchwood. Oh, well, I'll jump out and I'll get the odd occasional appearance in Doctor Who, maybe in a couple of years. Well, Jack, we mustn't forget about the other also characters. Also characters? Yes, also runs. Oswald Danes, who actually went from being an annoying on the side character to being rather magnificent. Although most of the fun came from people like Gwen smacking him around the face with a frying pan. <laughs> that was quite good, yes, I like that. And what about red-haired publicity woman? Oh, I can't even remember her name. Oh, I was hoping she was going to get her comeuppance. I mean, yeah, great, Gwen beat the crap out of her. And then, oh look, she's gone off to work with the family on Plan B. Oh, snorgasm. Oh, uh, yes, 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 I agree with that. Well, what about the series overall, Jack? How do you rate it? Um, let's look at the torch woodyometer. Well, as we can see here, for the last two episodes, it respectively was quite a proud score of the torch woodyometer. But were we to adjust this for the series as a whole? Yes. It drops from proud to somewhere between wobbly and flaccid. Not a good score whatsoever. It's certainly not a patch of children of Earth. Yeah, that's about right. Um, it's a real shame. Episode 1 had such high promise. Episode 2 to 6, I could have just slept through. And then episode 7 to 10, they remembered to have some plot. Uh, so, that's it for Torchwood. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, is there anything else that we could watch, Jack? Oh yes, yes, we will watch the Borgias. I like that. Lots of killing, lots of sex, and lovely costumes. Oh, please tell me we're not doing reviews of that. No, don't worry. That bloody Pope Llama thing would probably take off at that point. Yeah.